While human papillomavirus is the most common sexually transmitted disease with about 14 million new infections yearly. Medical studies revealed five shocking ways the highly contagious HPV can get transmitted and spread. Are hospitals and doctors' office less safe than we think? Brigham Young University and Penn State University examined the impact of 11 common disinfectants on HPV-16. The study was published in the Journal of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. It revealed HPV-16 demonstrated resistance to sterilization process used in hospitals to cleanse medical equipment. Such medical instruments include forceps and vaginal speculums. Jewish General Hospital investigated objects used for genital HPV patients. Results show HPV DNA was detected on 50% of surgical gloves. While HPV DNA was also found on biopsy forceps before and after sterilization. In another research published in the Australasian Journal of Ultrasound in Medicine, residual HPV virus were found remaining on transvaginal ultrasound probes before and after low-level disinfection. With reusable medical instruments, it is shocking that healthcare providers cannot eliminate HPV cross-contamination. This is because researches showed clinical disinfectants and sterilization cannot fully eliminate HPV. And this virus has the ability to survive in a dry room environment for several days. You can also catch HPV infection without having sexual intercourse and oral sex. HPV may spread through finger to vaginal or finger anal contact. This virus may spread even if no one comes. And even if a penis does not go inside the vagina anus or mouth. One case study is research finding from the University of Washington. This research found genital HPV infections among lesbian women who had never had sex with a man. While Adden Brooks Hospital of Cambridge detected HPV on the fingers of genital ward patients, there was another clinical study on female university students with their fingertip samples were collected. Results show HPV prevalence in fingertip samples was 14%, with genital HPV detected in the fingertips and 60% of HPV type detected in the fingertips was indeed found in a concurrent genital sample. Bottom line is you can get HPV without having sex, and you may get HPV from being fingered. Sharing sex toys can get you HPV too, as HPV particles can be found on inanimate objects and dry surfaces. Some of these presents are up to 24 hours till 7 days of lifespan. In a study published by the BMJ Journals, HPV was detected on vibrators just after use in women with vaginal HPV. HPV can still be detected on the sex toys immediately after cleaning and 24 hours after cleaning. If that's not enough, based on another research by the National Cancer Institute in Maryland, HPV-16 still demonstrated 30% of infectivity after dehydrated on a surface for 7 days at room temperature. HPV is resistant to heat and extreme dryness. It is able to survive on inanimate objects outside of human body. So when sex toys such as a masturbating vibrator or dildo is shared among partners within the same sexual encounter, there is risk of HPV transmission. Next let's see this report. Doctors told two different bank tellers that they were indirectly infected with STD, and they get genital warts after handling banknotes at their workplace. These two females were reported to have a common habit, of not washing hands after manual counting banknotes. If you think there is no truth in it, Associate Professor Bisham Chera said HPV may transmit via fomites. Fomite is any non-living object or substance capable of carrying infectious organisms. Examples include skin cells and doorknobs. As mentioned earlier, HPV DNA was detected on the fingers of infected people while HPV virus can be found survive outside of body. On dry surfaces and inanimate objects, with lifespan of 24 hours to 7 days. So although it's rare, our hands are exposed to HPV contraction risk in activities like touching doorknobs or escalator handrail, contacting fitness equipment in public gym, and so on. Similarly, according to American College of Foot and Ankle Orthopedics and Medicine, Catching HPV plantar wart virus is possible if you walk barefoot around public areas. 
such as swimming pool areas or public shower places with warm and moist walking surfaces. The American Academy of Family Physicians revealed a related study on 146 teens. Results show the prevalence of foot warts was 27% in people who used a communal shower room. Clinical studies show HPV can be passed from mother to child during childbirth. Based on report published by the Science Direct, a study was conducted on 167 pregnant women. Various samples in children of HPV-positive mothers were collected for HPV DNA testing. Results show high prevalence of HPV in pregnant women and in placentas. While 11% of the newborn infants were tested HPV positive, Hindawi Journal published another report showing 30% of the mothers and 1.5% of the newborn babies tested positive for HPV. And there's more. Vertical HPV transmission from mother to infant has also been critically researched by the Finnish HPV family study. From 76 families, samples of genital and oral scrapings were collected from the parents and the infants for testing. Results show the HPV profile generated for HPV-positive mother-infant pairs was recorded as 26%. With infants were tested positive for HPV DNA in their genitals and the oral samples. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this out.